have too many... T no, you don't. You love all your toys, don't you? You want to go for a walk? Yeah? Come on, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Good morning. It is uh, Wednesday, and I didn't realize I had the day off today. I thought I was working today, but I looked at my schedule and found out that's tomorrow. So I have um, the day off. I was supposed to have the day off yesterday, but I didn't. So today... I'm farting around and I'm happy about it. Okay, I actually haven't really been farting around. I've been doing stuff on my computer for the channel. Um, I'm preloaded three videos ahead, so yay me. And of course, just taking care of the babies. I don't need any more plants, especially now because I'm moving, but I am gonna take a walk down to the nursery, the fancy plant store, because uh, I just wanna look. If they have one of my wish list plants, then I'm bringing it home. It's just a thing. So, you know. YOLO! It looks like it might rain though, so we'll bring some rain gear for the both of us. Okay? You ready to go? All right. We are back. It is so humid outside. As you can see, Clover is tired from his walk, but we went out for an hour and we walked, I think, two and a half miles, so he is sleepy pants and will be tired for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, I may have done a thing. I only got one plant, okay? I This was on my wish list, <laughs> and it is a Calathea ornata. Even though it is mislabeled, it's labeled as Beauty Star, but I'm pretty sure this is an Ornata. Anyway, uh, I have wanted this Calathea for months. It has the most beautiful leaves. Look like they, it's dark green with this pink stripe on it. It looks like they're hand painted on there. They're just stunning and it's pretty small. It's in a four inch pot, so I put it in this little, this little cash pow here and I think it's really cute. Uh, I, I normally I do separate this from the rest of my plants, but I, I'm 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 not doing that today. <laughs> Calathea collection is getting a little bit crazy. We've got one up there too, uh, with a little like a uh, some dead knots next to it. That's pretty gross. Yep. But Calatheas are doing awesome. We've got new growth on almost everything. Like look at this. I love how they come up like this. This thing is just spitting out new leaves like you would not believe. This is like my favorite, this Lancifolia. She's just growing a lot and she's got the, the prettiest. These are the prettiest leaves. Some of these are really big and some of these are super tiny. So, uh, but this plant can't stop, won't stop. Also the Maranta can't stop, won't stop. And um, Freddy also can't stop, won't stop. I think there's new growth on this guy too somewhere. I don't know. She's got lots of new leaves. She's just like pumping out new leaves. So really like her. I, I love all of these plants. I think they're freaking stunning. Look, look at the new leaf on that. I also got a really beautiful PR package today from uh, Heavyweight Gloves. These are cleaning gloves and this is I think the medium pair. You got a small pair and an extra large pair for the husband. And they s saw they heard that I was moving and they sent me this cute little cute little note um, so I'm really excited about um, trying these out for you guys you y'all know I love a good clean they also sent me these little cute things too. they sent me some snacks some moving tape and some little skincare that's so cute so I'm I'm excited because you can just clean just with these gloves which is freaking awesome so I'm excited who gets excited about cleaning uh, this this girl right here. Clover, that is my spot. <laughs> anyway, Sims 4 Realm of Magic came out yesterday and I wanted to download it yesterday but I was busy and didn't have time to play but today I have some time, some downtime so I think I'm gonna download it and try it. I normally am not into that kind of stuff. I don't really like to play with mermaids, vampires, uh, aliens. I but I'm kind of into the, like the Harry Potter feeling of this pack. So um, I'm gonna play and um, start a new story. Yay! Target. Look what they have out. Like, this is the Christmas Mrs. Myers since Snowdrop. I don't know what that is, but like, ser seriously? They got pumpkin spice and Christmas out at the same time? Do you not like emojis? What's wrong? What's happening?
He's been um, growling at this smiley face emoji on the screen. Really? <laughs> you get him. You get that kissing face emoji. Get him. I'm watching drama videos and like this is happening. So I'm amused. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, okay. It's not that bad. It's just a smiley face emoji. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Oh, hello, you guys. It is Thursday afternoon and I am headed out to a dress rehearsal for Saturday's concert. I am running up against a million deadlines, so I didn't have time to do what I was gonna do this morning. I had to email people and be like, can I do it later? So, whew, yes. Uh, I'm definitely, um, <laughs> behind, but it's okay. I got an extension on my deadline. And um, Clover's here. Hello. Hello. He'll be staying here, uh, but for now, let's catch an Uber and let's go to Jordan Hall. some work done while I can. Good morning friends. It's the next day um, by 8.45. I am on my way out the door. I have to go get a blood test again for the iron, iron thing. So um, it's a three month follow up because I was low again last time I went. For those of you who don't know, I had low iron, uh, like really low. So I have to, I've been on iron supplements and hopefully that is helping the situation. I've been very faithful about taking them for the last three months. So hopefully, I, I don't know. I've been still feeling tired anyway. So we'll see what the situation is. Um, but I also have some things to return. I'm gonna return some, some stuff from Target I got yesterday and um, I also have a new computer. This is my MacBook Pro that I've had since 2015, like January of 2015, so that means this is a four-year-old computer, almost five-year-old computer, so it runs well, but it's been, you know, it, it's, it needs, it's been running pretty slowly uh, with video editing and stuff, and since um, I'm transitioning uh, my entire business online, I need to, something to have to run faster and have more memory and stuff like that so i have a new computer in this box i got it yesterday but did not have a chance to open it because i had to go to rehearsal as you saw um and it's just been sitting here yesterday when i got home i wanted to, to open it and play with it but i had to make dinner and it just it didn't work out so hopefully when i get back i can open this set it up and then we'll finish editing my video for today that i have to post today on this computer, which will be really fun. I do have some things to repot up there, um, so that might be something I want to do today as well. I just don't have the right pots, I don't think. So I think I need to repot a couple of these Calathea, I think, uh, well, I'll just take a look at the root systems, but I feel like I need to repot this one um, and perhaps that one, but uh, probably not. I definitely need to repot the Monstera. There's some roots poking at the bottom. And also this one, has a situation as well, which I need to deal with. I have been ignoring this for the past <laughs> few weeks, um, but I, I will take the soil out and see what the situation really looks like. Anyway, I need to go get a blood test and then I guess I'm gonna go buy some pots afterward. See, I have a bunch of cash pose, but I don't have a lot of pots. I guess this is a pot I could use, but this is a big pot for like, I don't wanna step this one up to like a huge pot because it's, it's only in like a four inch pot. Um, but see, it's got some, oh wow. Okay, yeah, it, <laughs> I think it needs to be repotted, but I don't wanna, I, I wanna give it like maybe a six inch pot and this is a little larger. So I think I'm gonna um, maybe buy a, a smaller pot, like a little plastic pot. Maybe I can just step it up to one of these little plastic pots back here. I don't know, we'll see. I'll do a little inventory and maybe I'll stop at Home Depot and grab some pots on the way back. All right, you're gonna have to wait till I get back to play, okay? I'll see you later. Okay, we're at the good old Holy D. Uh, let's hope that um, I don't, I'm not tempted to buying too many plants as well. I'm, I'm here to buy a, a pump sprayer, a couple of pots, and that's it. But 
Y'all know, y'all know how it is in the garden center. Y'all know. Okay, this is what I need. I need um, some terracotta pots. This looks like a small one. This is like four inch guy. Let's see, I need a six inch, six inch. All right, this is what I need. I think I'm gonna buy um, a couple of these. Here I am, pump sprayer. Okay, um, which one should I get? Which one? This one seems, I mean, it's like super inexpensive. This guy, so we'll just pick him up. I really should have a shopping cart. I kind of wanna get one of these too, just in case. I need to start pre-treating my plants for the move. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I can peep and see what's over here, which I shouldn't, I shouldn't be going over here, but I am, because I got a problem. The only thing I'm really looking for is the philodendron micans, but look at this anthurium. So pretty. This is one of my favorite plants, actually, this anthurium. By anthurium is doing really well. Um, they have all the golden pothos here. Really pretty. We've got some little marble queens. If I see philodendron, this is a regular philodendron. Let's make sure no one takes my cart, right? We've got all kinds of like little cute pots here. This might be worth it for like, or maybe I should just go to Marshall's. But this is cute for the, you know, for like one of the calatheas that I need to repot maybe. They're a little expensive. Got cute little Hoya over here. I think this is just like your plain standard Hoya. Got little Peperomias everywhere, I think. Spider plant, ivy. Um, this is, uh, what is this little guy? It's cute. Is this a Hoya? Oh, it is a Hoya. It's really adorable. Strawberry begonias up here. Although I don't think these are begonias actually, but they're called strawberry begonia. I think they're like in a class, a genre all of their own. My friends call me houseplant. Well, <laughs> I think it's strawberry begonia, but like I, it's called something else. I'll put the name on the screen. It's really cute. It has these like pink undersides. These don't look too good though, honestly. And they put out stolens, these runners. They're pretty cute. Tons of aglianema. ZZ plant looks really sad actually. Got some African mask. Some, um, this is, I think this is Alocasia Amazonica. Looks really cool. I, I'm, I want one, but I'm gonna wait till I move. They're really cool looking plants. Now these ZZs look a little better. Got more Alocasia up here. I know this is like your basic house plant, but like honestly, it's one of my favorites because it just grows and it's beautiful and it never gives me any problems, it's awesome. Got lots of crispy wave ferns, lots of phalaenopsis, looks like. Got like little guys down here. This is like, oh my gosh, look at this Fetonia just blooming away. Wow, she's a happy little girl. In like the worst conditions, just blooming like mad. Tiniest, saddest looking Diffenbachia, honestly. I just, I kinda wanna take it home and nurse it. <sighs> like, part of me. Is like, oh my gosh, how sad, but I, I don't really, I don't know. I'm more inclined to take home something like this Syngonium. Look at how pretty that is. Really big ZZs down here. These look awesome. I'd be more inclined to get like one of these larger sized ZZ plants for my next apartment um, rather than one of those like fiddly figs. I feel like these, these look really cool, but they can, they, they, I think they're really fussy. Let's see what's down here. I got a couple of crotons. Got some super pretty begonias down here. Wow, these are beautiful. Purple waffle or whatever. I heard these are really difficult, so I'm not gonna really mess with those yet. Uh, cute Dracaena back there, actually. We got a bunch of polka dot plants down here. They're in the dark, so they're losing some of their pink color, which is so sad because such a pretty plant, such a happy plant. My polka dot plant looks a little like gangly and weird, but it's super happy. And all of the leaves have this really pretty um, dark green, but like polka dot pink foliage. So I think my plant is really happy, but these seem like they're like struggle bus. Lots of ferns, no thank you. Lots of big marble queens down here. Marble queen, also one of my favorite. Beautiful pothos, super easy to care for. Not a problem. There's a big curly spider plant. This is like one of my favorites also. So pretty. I'm tempted by this Hoya, but I know I can get a little 
a variegated Hoya at the local nursery that's super pretty. Okay, not missing anything. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Stop spray painting plants. Like, how are they gonna photosynthesize now? <laughs> I don't understand, why would you do that? And they, I think these have like fake flowers on, like glued on here, which I, I don't understand. Yeah, the, I think these are like glued on, these flowers. I mean, come on people. <laughs> I think we're just gonna get these couple of pots, the sprayer and this um, neem, and uh, then we'll uh, head out. Oh, hello. I returned that stuff from Target that was in this bag, and that I need to return, I got my pots, got my neem stuff and I got nothing else so that's it well I got the sprayer but that's I left that in my car still got the new computer over here just waiting but I think I'm gonna have some breakfast and then take him for a walk first before I do anything with that all right I'm just gonna have my breakfast I'm having my second cup of coffee and I'm just having some hash browns some eggs with some hot sauce on them and a little veggie patty and hopefully that'll be enough to charge me up for the morning. Clover is being very patient and waiting for me to finish before we go outside. Okay, I've had breakfast, I've had a little bit of coffee and I put some makeup on. Does anyone else not feel fully human until they put a little bit of makeup on? I do. I can I cannot have makeup on like all day, but I feel so much like better when I have makeup on. Like I can feel like I can present myself to the world. I don't know what that is. I think I put a little bit too much powder on in my eyes. I don't know, whatever, we'll see. Um, I am grateful though to have less makeup and uh, more plants. So uh, now that we're all done, we gotta get Clover ready to go. Are you ready? Are you ready to go outside? All right, and then we can um, stop by the other plant store and I can take you guys with me on that adventure too because I know uh, Home Depot was real sad so I wanna see some healthy plants, see how they look and see if I can stop myself from buying anything. Probably not. Uh, let's go. Okay, we're at my favorite nursery and they're playing copyrighted music, so I'm, I'm probably gonna have to put some music over this to cover the copyrighted music, but let's go! Let's see what they got. They always usually have really, really awesome stuff. Look at this, photos. Wow. Look at all of the fun. Sansevieria, oh, I guess these are Dracaena now. <sighs> Why do they reclassify plants all the time? It really stresses me out. Got some fat sage panica here. Uh, this is like a little chaflera. Looks really good. Lots of Sansevieria slash Dracaena. A really super thirsty looking Calathea medallion. And a Pothos Enjoy. Some look like lemon lime Dracaenas. Is that what they're called? Look at this peace lilies flower. Wow. It's a big one. Look at that. Philodendron, or maybe it's a thematophyllum, thematophyllum? I don't know, someone tell me in the comments. That's a gem cane here. Little, oh my God, look at the cute, tiny Schifflera, so cute. They've watered everything, so Clover's paws are just getting so wet. Oh, they got string of hearts. Look, and this one even has flowers. Oh my gosh, how much are you? 20 bucks. Do I want a string of hearts, you guys? I kind of do. Oh my god, look at them. I kind of want one. I really am considering very strongly. Calathea also looks pretty sad, but I don't know. I think she can be saved. All right, I'm seriously considering taking home one of those string of hearts. We'll see. Look at this begonia. Wow. Got a bunch of string of hearts over here too. Hylia peperimioides, little zizis. Lots of pots everywhere. Pots here are cute, but they're a little expensive though. That's why I went to Home Depot. Like, look at this. This is so cute, but it's like $15. But it's actually really cute. Kind of like it, kind of like it a lot. Oh wow, look at the little spider plants. They look really good. And the peperomias. Oh, look at the Hylia peperimioides. This peperomia is so cute. Look at her, she's adorable. 
Clover, I need you to stay close to by to me, please. <laughs> they even have lip bobs. This isn't really my style, but I think they're kind of cute. Oops. Oh, I spill sand. Walk away, walk away. I've been in here a bunch of times, like looking at this variegated um, peace lily. This is bath of film. I kind of want it, but I don't know. It's 20 bucks. It's a good price. I kind of want her. We'll see. Whoa, look at that. That is huge. Look, that's, that's clover for scale. That thing. Wow. It's like the heaven for cacti and succulents in here. As you guys can see, this is probably like, I can't, this is why I can't stop buying plants because look at all of this selection. This is amazing. Got lots of aloe here, even a, this pretty one. I don't really do succulents a lot, but when I do, I come here and get them because they're always really healthy. Got another, um, oh, this is um, Aglianema. I don't know what variety this is, but I think these are really pretty. Terrariums here, and um, I forgot what this thing is, but these are not glued in like the ones you can buy at Walmart, so <laughs> they're fine. Peperomia, I love this. I think this is adorable. I don't, which kind of peperomia is this? I don't know what kind of peperomia this is, but it's really cute. It looks like tetragona, but I don't think it is. It's like a different kind of peperomia. Here's another like peperomia that's adorable. I love peperomia, I think they're adorable. Some, Orchids there without the uh, without the flowers. Like some um, ferns here. Again, no thank you. Lots of calatheas that look a little bit dry. <laughs> this this one's look when they like when they curl their leaves like this. That means either there's too much light or it's dry. It's trying to preserve um, its water. So that's what that means. Water your calathea. Lots of pretty hanging plants. We've got oh that's an awesome philodendron here. What's this? I don't know. I think this is a philodendron like a lemon lime or something. I don't, I don't know, but it's really awesome. Beautiful. I'm in Therium here. Without the flowers, they actually look a little bit sad too. You guys, I think I'm, I need that string of hearts. I think I need to buy it. Look at these little froggies. Uh, Monstera adansonii here, love this. Now, what do we think? Is this one the best one? I feel like it is. They, they all don't look very full, but they're all in like six inch pots. This one looks like the healthiest right here. I think they also have some super cute Hoya last time I saw over there, but maybe they're all sold, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I need I need the string of hearts. I need it right now. You guys, I might get one of these. I think this is Crimson Queen, and I think I really want one. Okay, they only have a few left, so I'm gonna get this Crimson Queen and this string of hearts. Okay, who's got too many plants? I have too many plants. I think I'm gonna let this chill here for a while and then I'll repot in my plants that are meant or in my pots that are meant for something else now you can see the flood look at that isn't that cute so she's really happy I hope I can keep this alive I, I I've never had one of these before I took that little hanging thing off because I don't have anything to hang it on but um it needs to be a hanging plant I think still haven't opened the new computer still haven't finished my coffee but what I need to do is get to work because I have a video scheduled to be published at 6 30 is it done editing? No, it's not. I, I'm i definitely not usually this procrastinating, um, but I just, it's just been busy. Um, and I need to just, I need to just buckle down and do it because there is a game coming out today. There's actually two games coming out today that I really want to play um, on Nintendo Switch. One of them is called Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> and the, the, uh, the object of the game is you are a terrible goose and you have to go around wreaking havoc around town. Does that sound like the most hilarious video game you've ever heard? I, I need to play it. And also Zelda uh, Link's Awakening comes out today too and it looks so cool. So I need, I need to just buckle down. I need to drink that coffee and I need to finish the video. It's also kind of a disaster, like let's be honest. I mean, it doesn't look super messy, but it's a little bit of a disaster. I need to make a video, uh, but I'll do it on Monday. Uh, yeah, we got toys everywhere and it's kind of gross on the floor, so I'm gonna run the Roomba and uh, get to work.
Ugh, okay, I'm done. You guys, it's like four, what time is it? 4.36, so that took a little while. I actually did some other work too. I just sent an invoice to somebody and like did some other stuff, but um, we are ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's open up brand new computer. Oh, I don't need it. There's a pull tab. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. First new computer in almost five years. Woo! Look at her. I got the silver, just like my other one, because I, did, I, didn't, I didn't want like a new um, color, but I will, I think I'm gonna buy a skin for it, like the, the really like attractive, nice skin. Ooh, very satisfying. Super satisfying. There she is. Brand new. Mac, it's really thin. Wow. My other one is very thick. So, um, that's fun. Open her up. Oh. Awesome. Call voiceover. If you know how to use voiceover, press the command key while you press touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar. To learn how to use voiceover to set up your Mac, tap escape at the left end of the touch bar. Okay, while I figure this out, I will turn off the camera, but <laughs> very fun. Okay, I finished setting it up and we've got uh, important things happening like uh, downloading The Sims uh, material. I actually should copy my mods folder from my old computer and put it onto my new computer so I have all my custom content. Um, but you know, that's something I could do a little later. Look at all the stuff I've got down with kitchen stuff, fitness stuff. I've got crazy game packs. Speaking of game packs, I need to buy that game for a Nintendo Switch like very soon. I'm actually very hungry also. I wonder if my husband's gonna come home. Um, what a day I've had. This one, he probably needs to eat soon. Okay, there's definitely a game I want that I didn't purchase, but I will, maybe after I finish this game, I will get it. Um, it's like a really fun Studio Ghibli game that looks really cool, so I want that, but this is downloading and Untitled Goose Game. I, it's, it was only like 15 bucks. I am very excited to play this game. It looks amazing. If anyone's curious what games I actually have for the Switch, I have got, well, I've got these two that are downloading right now. Breath of the Wild, oh my God, amazing. Pokemon, let's go Eevee. <laughs> Yoshi's Crafted World is so fun and so cute. I and Me, this is an independent game um, by an independent developer, but very fun, uh, sometimes really frustrating. I've got Cadence of Hyrule, which I'm really bad at. Jackpox, Party Pack 2. This is fun with friends. I also have the Party Pack number one. I got She and the Light Bearer. This is, um, this is fun. Interesting. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Urgh. It's updating right now. So fun. I, I live for Smash on every Nintendo system. The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. This is a super cute game. I've got Overcooked. Uh, you might lose friends when you play this with someone it's super frustrating and you'll yell at each other. The First Tree, this is an interesting game. Uh, Pode, I haven't actually played that much. It's like a cooperation game, so I gotta get on that. And I haven't played much of this Yonder Cloud Catcher Chronicles either, but I've heard this is like Breath of the Wild, but like relaxing. Snipper Clips, super fun to play with your friends or your husband. And I've got one, two switch. Uh, that's fun to play with my uh, nieces and nephews. So uh, that's what I got on my Switch. Clover, are you done yet? Oh, he's drinking water. By the way, a little fun thing I got in the mail. I got some Maker's Cleaning Cloths. These are the cleaning cloths made by uh, Melissa Maker's Company of Clean My Space. I'm very excited to try them out. Look at all of the fun cleaning cloths. And they all have these cute little tags on them. So um, I am very excited to give you guys my thoughts. And, uh, yeah. Clover has done the poops, and now he's staring at the window wistfully. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I think I will start dinner because I'm starving, and I didn't, I skipped lunch, which was dumb, but I was working. And uh, I, tonight we're having like a broccoli beef stir fry, so I wanna eat. <laughs> so I guess I'll, oh. My software's done. Um, I guess maybe I'll try a little Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> Press Y to honk. <laughs> oh.
Okay, wow. Breaking the lake, breaking the lake, breaking the lake, breaking the lake. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> this is so dumb and I love it. No, oh, dude. Get away from me. What are you doing by the door? Are you just chilling here? All right, that is the end of the week. My husband is making me dinner, which I'm very lucky about. And uh, we're just gonna chill here till tomorrow, concert day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you in the next one. Hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great af good evening. Let's start that again. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.